Psalms 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the plowman and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thy behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet, because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Second Chronicles 7, verse 14 If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Isaiah 33, verse 16 he shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be his munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given him. His water shall be sure. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Isaiah 41, verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Psalms 34, verse 4. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Romans 8, verse 38 and 39 For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Philippians 4, verse 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. 1 Peter 5, verse 7. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Psalm 55, verse 22. Cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 through 34. Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body. What ye shall put on, is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? 
Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Isaiah 35 verse 4 Say to those with fearful hearts, Be strong, do not fear, your God will come. He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution, he will come to save you. John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Joshua 1 verse 9 Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Isaiah 43 verse 1 But now this is what the Lord says, He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name, your mind. Psalm 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 34, verse 4. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Psalm 94, verse 19. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Psalms 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? 1 Peter 5, verse 6 through 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Psalms 118, verse 6. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Psalms 115 verse 11 You who fear him, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. Psalms 103 verse 17 But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him, and his righteousness is with their children's children. Psalms 112 verse 1 Praise the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in his commands. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 Be strong and courageous. Be not afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. 1 Chronicles 28 verse 20 David also said to Solomon his son, be strong and courageous and do the work. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not fail you or forsake you until all the work for the service of the temple of the Lord is finished. Isaiah 41 verse 10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 13 Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Isaiah 41 verse 13 For I am the Lord your God who take hold of your right hand and say to you, Do not fear, I am with you. 1 John 4 verse 18 There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. Psalms 46 verse 1 and 2 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, 
though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Psalms 23 verse 4 Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. John 16 verse 33 I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Psalms 55 verse 22 Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved.